Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the brand Gramici. A couple of weeks ago we talked about how to dress as a cold girl in a cold climate but Gramici has still been living rent free in my brain so I wanted to take that opportunity to recreate some specific outfits using clothing that I already own in my closet. It seems like a challenge. I'm wondering if I can do it. Oh, forgot my hair <laughs> How do people have When I take a look at Gramici as a brand, I think of a couple of things. They have exquisite layering and they've really mastered that as an art. I think they have a really yummy way of curating colors and putting them together to make a cohesive look. I feel like each piece that Gramici comes out with has a practical reason for existing. I personally have a philosophy when it comes to fashion that includes three things. I need it to be comfortable, I need it to be practical, and I want it to make me happy. So I think Gramici really aligns with my personal fashion philosophy in the first place. So the first outfit that I wanted to recreate is this one. A couple of things that drew me into this specific look in the first place were the shoes. They look very comfortable and I actually already own a similar pair of Tiva shoes like this. They kind of look like a little sleeping bag on your foot and they are indeed very comfortable. I also was drawn into this look because of the pants layered underneath the skirt. That seems like a really practical way to get away with wearing a skirt, but in the winter time. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I styled. I hope you enjoy. probably saw one of the main things that drew me into this look was the layering of the skirt over the pants and I didn't even wear pants <laughs> you know the skirt that I own was one of the primary reasons why I wanted to recreate this outfit and it simply was just too tight to layer any pants underneath in a comfortable way you know your girl wants to be comfortable 100% of the time so that just wasn't going to happen and you know I'll take it as a win. The original inspiration had a lot of gray. I don't have a lot of gray in my wardrobe and it's because it's not a color that I really enjoy. I have bought gray items in the past and I simply never reach for them. However, what I do have is brown and I really enjoy brown. You'll have to definitely let me know what you think in the comments. Did I nail it or is there something missing for you? The second look that I want to take a look at is this one. There are some key players in this look that drew me in. As you can tell, we've kind of got the same, we're going to call them sleeping bag shoes. I like the socks. My eyes go straight to the socks. My ankles are always cold and I absolutely despise that. So ding, 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 practical alert. We have the bucket hat. I'm a big bucket hat woman. We have the messenger style bag. We also have a sleeping bag skirt. And I actually already own two sleeping bag skirts, which yes, they're comfortable and they're so silly. Aren't they so silly? I just, I absolutely love them. They make me happy. I think for some people they might be, um, a little unsure like Mary I'm not going to be styling a sleeping bag skirt I think you're off your rocker however I I like them they make me happy what can I say so let's go ahead and take a look at how I recreated this look
what do you think? <laughs> now I know that the skirt was quite a bit shorter, but it's the one I own. So uh, I mean, you know, that that's the whole point of this video. What can I say? The colorway was obviously a little bit different as well, but I think I went ahead and captured the essence of this inspiration and kind of adapted it to, you know, the things that I own and then also the things that make me happy. Now, I don't own black sleeping bag shoes. I own yellow sleeping bag shoes and I'm never going to go out and buy black ones because the yellow make me happy. So I think that's something that you should take note of when you're recreating outfits is it doesn't specifically have to be piece by piece because you're going to take what you have in your life and kind of combine it and melt it down with the things that you naturally gravitate towards or the things that naturally make you happy or make you comfortable. And I think that's the key to recreating pieces. If you're comfortable in what you're wearing, then you're going to emanate the vibe, right? You're going to emanate out into the world that energy, that joy, and that happiness. And I think that really adds to the recreation. For the last two looks, I'm going to go ahead and use this photo for inspiration. Let's take a closer look at it. So this is kind of the Mac Daddy of all practical looks because this person is gonna go out and they're gonna chop some wood. They're gonna stay warm this winter. But before they can stoke that fire and get it roaring, they gotta stay warm outside while they're chopping wood. So they've got the gloves, they've got the layers, they've got the hat. It looks like they have a really practical shoe that's gonna keep their toesies protected. Number one, the colorway. We've got a lot of brown and a lot of gray. The gray kind of plays into the brown, almost making the entire look look brown, right? The other way that I looked at this look and how I could kind of recreate it is the, the textures and the shapes that are going on in this look. So if you take a closer look at the vest, it's kind of one of those teddy bear style vests and that's a really really specific texture that can add to a look. The silhouette of this outfit also includes kind of a baggier pant, a hat, the hood I think really plays into the silhouette. So that's why I recreated my last two looks with this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. See what I'm saying? So as you saw, I took brown as the inspiration for that look. Although I will admit it's quite different. I think it still captures the same earth toned brown essence that the inspiration photo has, but I definitely lacked the use of layering on and texture and shape on the top that the original inspiration photo gave us but I'm really impressed with how it turned out. I'm actually not sure if I liked the gloves, but I had some very similar work gloves for gardening. So I said, let's see, let's toss them in there. Do you like this look with or without the gloves? Go ahead and take a closer look at the second way that I recreated this look. Now, when you see this, remember, I took inspiration not from color, but from individual pieces, texture, and shape.
Okay, now that was probably one of the more off the wall ways that I cre could create one of these looks. And if you just saw me out on the street and had to go look up a picture on the internet to compare it to, you probably wouldn't look up this picture and be like, oh yeah, that was her inspiration. But again, take a closer look, step back, think about what did I have in my closet, what colors make me happy, and you can see why this is a signature Mary recreation, right? So again, very different visually, but practically speaking, I think it's a pretty spot on recreation. Which recreation of this photo do you like better? All right, all right, I'm not one to toot my own horn. Okay, I actually am kind of one to toot my own horn. I am really proud of myself for recreating these looks. I didn't 100% visually recreate these looks piece for piece, color for color, but I took the general vibe, practicality, shape, sometimes the color way, but maybe with my own specific spin on it, and I think I recreated some looks that I would wear in my daily life. I think I also took some pieces in my wardrobe that I thrifted that I don't often wear because I just didn't know how to style them and I took inspiration from this challenge and I was able to style them. I'm really excited to wear that kind of like khaki cargo skirt. Well definitely comment down below what was your favorite look? Which one did I nail the most? Was there a look that you just didn't like at all? I'd really like to know. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked my video, then go ahead and like my video. Please subscribe to my channel as well because it helps people that would find my content helpful be able to find my content. But until next time, I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.